Okay, we have a probability question. So we're flipping a coin until you get ahead. <clears throat> and we're going to do this trial five times. Okay, so we want to know the probability that you get the first head on the same flip. So the first flip or the second flip or the third flip, so on, forever. Um, so let's look at, okay, so when I say probability that x equals 1, I mean that for each of the five trials that the first head is on the first flip. So x equals 1 is first flip. Okay, what does that look like? So we got the first one is the heads, and all these are going to be um, a half, and we've got five of them. So for each trial, you got to get the head on the first flip. So the total probability is going to be 1 over 2 power 5. Okay. So I'm just looking at a couple scenarios to try to find a pattern. Okay, what about two? So the head happens on the second flip. So for each of these scenarios, you get a tail, then a head. Tail, then a head. So that's one over two, power two. So all five trials look like that. Okay, total, total probability is going to be one over two. So let's just... Let's just take a quick look at that. So it's 1 over 2 power 2 five times. So it's uh, 2 times 5 gives us 10. All right, one more. We should get a pretty clear pattern here. Let's flip it three. Uh, let's get the head on the third flip. So for each of the five trials, they all look the same. Tails, tails, head. Tails, tails, head. That's 1 over 2, power 3. Five trials. So 1 over 2, power 3. To the power 5 gives us 1 over 2, power 15. Okay. So we have a geometric sum. Geometric sum looks like this. And then I want to show you how I do these. I don't like to memorize formulas. Unless I have to, for these, I like to go back to basic principles. So I recommend students try this as well. It will give you confidence that you can deal with geometric sums in lots of different forms. Um, if you think of it in this problem solving type of way. Okay, so let's write it out. What does it look like? Okay, it's like that. So if I multiply each side by 1 over 32, Okay, and we subtract, you see all those 1 over 32s to the power 2 and so on will all cancel. So on the left, we have 1 minus 1 over 32. All that's left on the right side is 1 over 32, and that's easy to solve. Okay, so of course there's a formula there that you can remember. I, I just am in the habit of not using formulas. Um, there you go for the final probability. Okay, interesting that um, a scenario that could go on infinitely long, theoretically, you may never get ahead. You may get tails forever, but still, we can sum up all those and we can get a real number for a probability of 1 over 31. All right. I hope that was helpful.